Hello widget watchers welcome back to widget wisdom today we are going to explore one of the core concepts in flutter stateful and stateless widgets understanding these two types of widgets is fundamental to building dynamic and responsive apps so grab your laptops and let's dive in in flutter everything you see on the screen is a widget from a simple text label to a complex layout structure Widgets are the building blocks of your Flutter app's user interface. Let's start with the stateless widget. As the name suggests, stateless widgets are immutable. Once they are built, they don't change their appearance or state. They are perfect for displaying static content like text, labels, icon, or simple layouts. Let's create a simple stateless widget that displays a greeting message. So here I have opened my project in Android Studio and now come inside the lib directory and here create a dart file as stateless example dot dart. Now come inside this class and here create a stateless widget as greeting widget and this class will take one parameter as greeting. Now add this parameter inside its constructor and mark this as required. Now come inside the build method and from here return a text widget which will display a greeting message then here add a style parameter and give it a text style where the font size is going to be 24 and font weight is going to be bold so in this example greeting widget is a stateless widget it takes a greeting string as a parameter and displays it using a text widget now go to the main.dart file and from here this material app remove everything and call the greeting widget and pass your greeting message like welcome to widget wisdom now save the code and run the application and here you can see uh, our welcome message is appeared on the screen and we cannot change its text whether you put a button here a text field or anything you just cannot change its text because it's a stateless widget so basically stateless widget are efficient because they are built once and don't need to update unless their parent widget rebuilds. Now let's talk about stateful widget. Unlike stateless widget, stateful widgets maintain a state that can change over time. They are ideal for interactive elements that needs to update in response to user input, animation or other events. Let's create a simple stateful widget that increments a counter when a button is pressed. So come to the lib directory and here create a dart file as stateful example. Now come inside this file and here create a stateful widget as counter widget and now come to the state class and here create a variable as counter and initialize its value with the zero. Then here create an increment counter method and here add the set state which will help in to rebuild the UI and inside set state increase the counter value with the one. So here we will use plus plus symbol to increase the counter value with the one. Now come inside the build section and from here return a column widget and set its main axis alignment to the center then for children add the text widget and give it a counter value then add the counter value and for style add the text style and then define the font size to 24 then for spacing here use sized box which will have height of 16 then here create an elevated button for on pressed we will call our increment counter method okay now for child add the text as increment so in this example counter widget is a stateful widget the stateful widget class is paired with a state class in this case counter widget state the state class holds the counter value and the logic to increment it the set state method is called to update the state and rebuild the widget when the button is pressed now go to the main.dart file and uh, remove this stateless widget and here add counter widget now save the code and run the app now you can see a stateful widget has been appeared on the screen now press on this elevated button and now you can see our counter value is increasing by one every time when we press this button so let's talk about the key difference and their use cases so stateless widgets are immutable they don't change once the UI is built and they are used for static content and stateful widget maintain a mutable state can change over time and use for interactive or dynamic content. There are few example of stateless widgets like text labels, static images or icons, whether forms, button that can change their state 
they are known as stateful widgets so that's all for today we have covered the fundamentals of stateless and stateful widgets in flutter understanding when to use each type of widget is crucial for building efficient and responsive apps i hope this tutorial has helped clarify these concepts for you if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to widget wisdom and hit the bell icon to stay updated with more flutter content if you have any questions or suggestion for future videos leave them in the comments below thanks for watching and see you next time on widget wisdom